gerbiami kolegos. Na, turbūt sunkiai surastume kitą užsienio menininką, kurio darbų recepcija Latvijoje nuo 20 amžiaus pradžios vyktų be pertraukių ir būtų tokia įvairia pusė kaip Mikalojaus Konstantino Čirlionio. Vien jau pažvelgus į adiptiką, preliudas ir fuga galima bandyti suvokti, kokia asmenybė tai buvo. Taip pat jo darbus, tarsi iš kilų kalną ar kalnų grandiniai įsidėščiuose vieno šalies teritorijoje, vienok taip pat atliepinti ir to šalies kaimynų mintims, rezonuojančioms jų mitose, legendose ir tradicijose, arba kalbant jau apie Latviją šalies estetinės kultūros istorijoje. Įvairiais laikotarpiais ir išskirtingų perspektyvų Čirlionio kalnas buvo daugiau ar mažiau matomas, o jo pasirodymas priklausė nuo atmosferos pokyčių susijusių su kultūros tendencijomis, dvasinėmis praktikomis. Faktors. Nearly 50 years ago, in 1971, Latvian involvement with Julian is then so far that his academic bibliography and a proper review in the Latvian official monthly literary magazine Karvok, the flag, where it was discussed and praised by literary historian and bibliographer Valdemars Ansid, a gesture of appreciation that is uh, hard to imagine in any Latvian national periodical today. Later on, the artist's compatriot Legend important episodes and names of the Latvian Chuloniana from publications of Silvestras Gaijunas, uh, most notably the monograph uh, Cultural Traditions in Baltic Literatures, Parallels and Context, and Context in the 20th Century in, 18, uh, in 1989, devoting one of the main chapters to Chulionis in Latvian literary and cultural traditions. In this treatise and in a number of following articles, uh, Silvestras Gajunas paid special attention, special tribute uh, to resonance of Churlionis' legacy in the literary work of Latvian writers, such as the novel War by Karl Strauss and essays by Richard Rudzitis and Zenta Maurin. Generally, these studies focus on Latvian literary reception of Churlionis, especially in the interval period, the readers now might ask whether Latvian Churlioniana primarily is a literary phenomenon created by novelists, poets, and uh, philosophical essayists uh, rather than artists, art critics, and art historians. In a lengthy essay on uh, Churlionis centenary, the names of Rudzitis and Maurin still were erased from the officials of the Latvian uh, cultural discourse. Uh, cultural historian Peter Zeile also wrote that Latvian cultural figures interested in Julianis uh, mostly have been writers and poets. In this regard, he mentioned three authors active in the literary scene of the 60s and 70s, Vistald Slams, without students and uh, Diana Avotin. Nevertheless, it would be wrong to assume that Latvian scene of uh, visual arts with its practitioners and writers remained comparatively indifferent to the phenomenon of Julianis, or they were um, not eager to reveal their opinions about him uh, in the pub to the public. In this paper, my purpose is to reiterate the main phases and trends in the engagement of Latvian intellectuals with the heritage of Churlionis against the context background of our country's history, paying particular attention uh, to views of artists, art critics, and art historians, even though their statements did not become uh, so popular and uh, so continuously reverberated as uh, some of those by their uh, literary contemporaries. I will uh, proceed uh, from the first Latvian account about Churlionis in 
1998, along a chain of important events and statements to 1916, when Latvians organizing the art exhibition in Moscow inevitably problematized their disputable position in the shadow of two Leonis after the success of his uh, uh, show uh, with uh, the Moscow public. The new section, the next section will outline the first period, period of Lithuanian and Latvian independence in the 20s and 30s, for the on other try to exemplify the situation in Latvian exile and Soviet Latvia after the Second World War, uh, reaching the new period of independence. The other end of the time span could be seen in uh, the international exhibitions of the 21st century, letting works by early 20th century Latvian authors appear together with the art of Churlionis. And it is where Ginta Gerhard Upenese from the Latvian National Museum of Art, as uh, one of the main organizers of the ongoing World South exhibition of Baltic Symbolists, will take for, for a focus on this, uh, on this panorama from perspectives of recent achievement. The first encounter of uh, Latvian press Readers with a strange name, Churlianis, took place in 98, when the second part of a letter from Lithuania by two Lithuanian-based Latvians, Galdinš and Zale, to the newspaper Zimtenes Vestnesis, gave a detailed overview of the Lithuanian artist exhibition in Vilnius, paying, the attention, uh, their, uh, paying uh, due attention to Churlianis, surprisingly for these uh, Occasional trespassers in the field of art criticism, they boast a quite mature and positive attitude. Deep lyricism, music, and individualism are basic motives of his compositions. Short descriptions allow to identify particular artworks, including uh, two contrasting visualizations of human thoughts. This letter from Lithuania served as one of the sources for a section on Lithuanian art in the article about Lithuanians in the third volume of Latvian Encyclopedia published by the Rika Latvian Society. Although the publication was finished in 1911, some details clearly indicate that the text was written already in 98. And it can be most, uh, and, uh, most likely attributed to artist, uh, designer, and art critic Yuli Smadernieks, an expert who became the key promoter of Churlionis art in Latvian society since the important Lithuanian art exhibition in Riga in April 1910. Until the uh, ethnocultural efforts of Latvians and Lithuanians as World War refugees in Moscow in 1916. A selection of 27 works by Churlionis in a separate room of the Lithuanian art exhibition was uh, the most representative public showing of his artworks in Riga until as late as 2014, when a tandem exhibition of Churlionis and uh, his Latvian admirer Rudolf Sperle was co-organized by Churlionis National Museum of Art and Latvian National Museum of Art. After a turmoil of events, including Chulun's death, the First World War, and the following events, until the independence, uh, some Regans even recalled uh, the 1910 exhibition as a solo show of Chulunis, uh, forgetting about other exhibitors. Nevertheless, opinions of visitors polarized, ranging from disappointment to admiration. Janis Rosenthal's, one of the key figures uh, of the uh, turn of the century uh, Latvian art scene, and uh, also in the present Build South exhibition, declared that the Lithuanian exhibition fails to meet the main prerequisites of quality. He wrote uh, that artists who have not mastered the means of expression of their craft tackle anecdotic, tendentious subjects, allegories and dry symbols, although Rosenthal didn't mention any names. 
promising a more detailed uh, discussion in the next part of his uh, article that was never published. Moderniks later remembered that back then, even one of our older, already famous artists paid just an ironic smile to work of this author. Modernix, however, had nothing to regret about himself because already in the first review of in 1910 he had begun with a statement that one simply can't stop looking at musically symbolical paintings of Giulianis and concluded that here we miraculously hear sounds of music while observing arrangements of concrete forms, lines and color, colors. In the next following years, the attitude represented by Moderniks became prevalent in Riga periodicals, but Hannah Chulionis, with several obituaries in 1911, reports from memorial events in St. Petersburg in 1912, and a particular essay by art critic and decadent writer Pavel Gruzna in a cultural magazine with a very Chulionis title, Duomas House, reproducing serenity and the sign of Sagittarius. Kruzna agreed that those who are looking at pictures not only for areas but also for deeper, their purely philosophical content and poetry of the world beauty will be still attracted by Chulonis painting for a long time. During the refugee years of uh, the First World War, the Latvian art exhibition in Moscow in spring 1916 was preceded by a widely acclaimed exhibition of Churlionis, an event that not only expanded the circle of Latvian intellectuals appreciating the work, his work in their writings, and here we see one of these publications, but also made both Russian critics and compatriots compare the presentation of Lithuanian and Latvian art, Modernik stated, everybody knows that Latvians can't yet boast of having such a peculiar pioneer of the new art as the Lithuanians have, Churlionis. Since Churlionis' exhibition came before that of the Latvian artists, it came as no advantage to the latter. In this context, Critics also started to comment on Chulionis' influence in the wartime work of uh, St. Petersburg-based Latvian artist Rudolf Perle, opening a debate that was continued by Latvian art historians throughout the 20th century and resulted, together with the above-mentioned exhibition, in a particular chapter about Chulionis in Datze Lambergas book about Pirle in the bilingual series Classics of Latvian Art in uh, 2014. After the war, the returning of Chulionis' works to the young uh, Republic of Lithuania and their locating in the new capital Kaunas resonated in Latvian media and new Latvian authors shared their attitude towards his heritage. Peter Karl Strauss, himself a former officer of the Russian army, invented a Lieutenant Chulionis in his novel The War as a fictional younger brother of the late artist contrasting the aftermath of his spiritual universe uh, to the cruelty of warfare. The theosophically inclined poet and essayist Richard Rudzitis established the idealizing, glorifying tradition of Latvian Chulioniana. As recognized by the main researcher of Latvian uh, art theory, Stella Pelsche, Rudzitis' interpretation of Chulionis was principally based on ideas directly borrowed from Russian symbolists. A comparison between two publications of his principal essay about Chulionis as an article in 1924 and uh, um, a, a book chapter in 1935 shows peculiar changes in terminology according uh, to the author's spiritual quest. In the later version, this statement was uh, repeated uh, in the conclusion of Julian's chapter 
in the end of Maurini's book of essays about people and things in 1938. Simultaneously with Rudidis and Maurinja, a number of active young Latvian artists formulated their ideas about Julian's art, offering an incongruous range of opinions from the standpoint of modernists of the 20s and neorealists of the 30s. After a visit to Kaunas in 1921, the ardent modernist Raman Stutt wrote, I see that he is an undeniably great, immeasurably great man, even a man of genius. Only it is no music, no literature, no painting. This room with his works is just a notebook of a great personality. A provocatively negative attitude towards the phenomenon of the Chulionis was voiced by another important Latvian modernist, Niklav Strunk, in his essay The Tragedy of Chulionis from the officially banned leftist anthology Audra in 1928. Strunk treated his legacy as a remnant of the dying yesterday. A psychic transition of the hysterical fever Russian decadent intelligentsia to the Lithuanian consciousness and diluted with naive mysticism. Reading these statements, one must uh, consider some controversial paradoxical aspects. First of all, uh, Strunke was a um, student of Modernics, uh, and uh, furthermore, Strunke's later own art shows uh, certain parallels with the imagery that he despised in this essay. Switching from these children of the 1890s to those of the next decade, I must mention two graduates of the Latvian Academy of Arts, Jakob Strasdinch and Anschlaf Seglis. Strasdinch's essay about Angel Prelude in 1939 highlighted Julianus' roots in Lithuanian folk culture and ended with a prospect that the power of his art probably will keep going, growing, till millions of people will bow in honor of Julian's name and his homeland in the future Europe. While the nearest future of Europe radically differed from Strasdinch's expectations and he himself uh, became a victim of Soviet repressions, uh, the statements of Anschlaf Segli an artist and art critic who later, later turned into a famous and prolific, prolific novelist, bridged this watershed of history, allowing to follow an individual development from slightly arrogant Yari and Fries of a young and a young art student of 18 in the mid uh, uh, 20s to a chapter about Lithuanian painting of the 20th century in the three-volume history of art in the mid-30s, and further on to reviews by an exiled writer in the second half of the century about Jurgis Glauda's novel The Sonata of Icarus and Alexis Ranit's monograph Mikoloius Konstantinos Julianus, Lithuanian visionary painter, Concluding that at times run its philosophical excursus in the search of children and spiritual relatives in the general history of art become rather esoteric, but altogether he gives a brilliant and lucid outline of children's personality and his peculiar, hardly classifiable art. Already at, in the 50s, Latvian exile magazine Selesimus had published a translation of Ranit's essay, The Legend of Churionis, highlighting him as a precursor of abstractionism and surrealism, as well as pervaded by a sense of his fragile artworks fading out behind the art iron curtain on the verge of becoming just elusive memories. In the meantime, Fascination with Chulionis became an increasing trend among young Latvians in the Soviet Socialist Republic. Although in the official discourse it was associated with other keywords, 
derived from reality and realism, apparently breaking with mysticism and still saturated with metaphorical lyricism. But look for mysticism in the deep sources of natural mysteries, writer Viswal Islam asked in his essay about Chulionis that was published in 1964. Be that as it may, in the Soviet Empire, uh, the role of uh, the phenomenon that I entitled Mount Chulionis is an, uh, was an unfading symbol of a spiritual realm of freedom transcending the boundaries of uh, everyday reality. Uh, and uh, this aspect regained particular importance not only for Lithuanians, attracting numerous young souls, although from Latvia, either with some knowledge uh, of the official, uh, officially erased part of Latvian Chuliniana, or perhaps most often even without it. To commemorate uh, Chulionis' 90th anniversary in Latvian Cultural uh, Weekly in 1965, Richard Rudzi, this daughter, art historian Gunther Rudzi, they obviously was not allowed to quote anything from her father's essays, but she verified Chulionis' greatness with a statement from the writings of national poet Rhinus. The wish to elucidate and uh, summarize uh, the Latvian reception history of Chulionis has uh, a somewhat autoethnographic background. In the 70s and 80s, I grew up with him as a household guard. If we remember Hans Gombrich's essay, uh, Old Masters and Other Household Guards, having a special section in uh, the family library, eagerly collected by my mother, a school teacher, of visual arts, a series of uh, childhood pilgrimages from Riga to Chulionis uh, National Museum in Kaunas uh, since 1980 um, played a role in my later becoming a researcher of the uh, turn of the 20th century art. The main book in the core of my mother's Chulionis library was Mark Etkin's monograph world as a great uh, symphony, and she remained greatly or completely ignorant about the reception of Chulionis by Latvian writers. Several memorial events in the late 80s and early 90s associated homage to Chulionis with public uh, reappraisal of such personalities as Richard Rudi, and Zenta Maurinja, uh, imbued with a spiritual quest of the so-called Third National Awakening and ultimately succeeded by some uh, decrease of interest and a certain reserve towards their idealizing attitude. Since the 90s, and at least from several perspectives, the Mount Chulionis seemed to lose uh, a peculiar radiant Hello, formerly created by unfulfilled longings of uncountable people. The increasing clarity obviously helped uh, to identify numerous links, uniting the solitary peak with various phenomena in, uh, his, in its uh, promontories and other mountains at home and abroad. The bygone decades of Baltic independence have seen a rise in the research of international contacts and uh, contexts, leading to such achievements as the exhibition Dialogues of Color and Sound, worked by Mikolojus Konstantinus Chulonis and his contemporaries on the opening of the National Gallery in Vilnius in 2009. In the crowd of the first day, the visitors, I occasionally heard a Latvian father or grandfather, a post war child of my mother's generation, uh, trying uh, to explain uh, Julian's greatness to uh, a high school youngster. And uh, this, uh, in this episode uh, somehow transported me. Uh, to the uh, household worship of my 
childhood. Bright memories about uh, this encounter in Vilnius now come together with some ideas expressed in the Rauma Biennale Balticum catalog essay by Latvian curator and art historian Helen Demakova in uh, 1994. Therefore, it is no wonder that when asked about the greatest mentors in the country's art history, the majority of the artists of the region point to the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. Hugo Simberg and Axel Egalen Kalala in Finland or Mikolaus Konstantinos Chulionis in Lithuania are still absolute favorites, regardless uh, of the present institutionalization of their art. The mysteriousness and symbolic volume of their work evidently address that part of our being which is not uh, concerned which is concerned not only with our navel still valid after a quarter of a century these sentences can prepare for for the presentation of Ginta Gerhard Upenieter. Thank you for attention. Uh, thank you, oh dear Christiana. Can we contact Christiana right now? Waiting. Connecting with Christiana. Maybe you have questions. Well, let's wait a little bit until we see Christiana and, and you will have a possibility to ask questions. I would like to thank uh, Christiana for her extensive and very interesting presentation where she revealed uh, the position of art critics, approach toward uh, Chirlonis creativity, their personal uh, personal personal um, uh, personal relationship uh, and Christiana's personal re uh, relationship uh, with Chirlonis uh, um, it was really very, very interesting to hear her insights. And now, once again, can we contact Christiana virtually? Good morning, Christiana. Do you hear us? Uh, can you, uh, you? We hear you, Christiana. Do you hear us? Tveikinimai, linkėjimai iš Rygos. Christiana, nes Christiana yra paruošiusi dar po... Any questions to Christiana? Because Christiana still has uh, some information she uh, would like to show, to demonstrate to all of you. Christiana, do you have any supplements, any, any, any additions to what you have said? Mm. And for this opportunity, uh, I will share the screen at the moment. Do you have any supplements? Well... Opportunity. Uh, I will share the screen at the moment. Can, can you see it? Tape. Mes galime matyti. Koks dar būtų Kristiana tavo? 
your comment to uh, to this slide that actually I would like to add a postscript that uh, would have to be the preface indeed uh, because uh, a new piece uh, in this uh, history puzzle should be added and uh, the beginning of the chronology comes back uh, to 1907 already when a young student of Latvian military school in Vilnius, Alfred Skruderis, an aspiring writer, wrote a report about Churionis' works in the first Lithuanian art exhibition to the newspaper Latvia. Uh, and uh, his impressions were uh, surprisingly positive. I'm especially fond of the painting Serenity, a high and uh, distant coast that together with pale bluish green sky mirrors Christiana, the please clear listen weather. to me for a minute. Uh, if you so could just turn off the stream and... Christiana, we can't hear you because of noise. Of course, I have omitted very many pieces in the in between uh, in order to make it shorter. Uh, but this beginning uh, remains important. Also, uh, this uh, person is greatly obscure in our history. Thank you. Ačiū, Kristijana. Mes šiek tiek pasijautėm kaip kosmoso stoti dėl šitų. Now uh, we felt like in cosmos due to technical problems. We did have some technical problems and the huge noise. Uh, thank you, uh, Kristijana, uh, very much.